Hey guys, question. Do you have a 2010, like an early 2010 MacBook Pro that when you turn it on, either the display will just shut off during uh, the boot up or it will kernel panic, give you like a GPU kernel panic? Uh, a lot of people get this. It's pretty common with those machines. Well, a lot of people send them bo the boards to us to get fixed and they think, hey, I need a GPU replacement. And for a while, we thought that was the case. So we replaced the GPU and it didn't work. Every single time, it would come back not working. It would work at first for a little bit, but then it would it would get returned to us for the same problem. And so we thought maybe the GPUs were just junk that we were replacing them with. But it wasn't that at all. It was actually something completely different. The GPU, the NVIDIA GPU chip, is not the problem. It's actually going to be this little component right here, which is the capacitor. Let me show you on the schematics what I'm talking about. So, here we have the frame buffer regulator for the GPU. This is the 1.8 volts going through this line. And what happened is this voltage going out into the GPU, this capacitor right here, the one I just showed you in the camera, let me show you again, this one right here, little capacitor, little tantalum capacitor, um, it would go bad and end up shorting to ground or just losing its power. And it would make the power go to ground instead of going through. And so the voltage going to the GPU would not be 1.8 volts, but would be something like 0 0.0 something, 0 0.2, be very low voltage. So this capacitor right here ended up being the problem. So a lot of other technicians around the world um, on YouTube have made videos about this as well, and I thought I would as well. This capacitor is not the correct capacitor that Apple should have used on this board. So we're going to replace it with the correct capacitor to make it work. Show you in the, the microscope view here, this capacitor. See how little that is? Now let me show you the size that we're going to replace it with. We're going to put this on there. I'm going to show you how to do that. It may, be, it may seem weird because the uh, pads, like the positive pad and the negative pad, are so close together this way that it looks like if we solder it on top, this pad is going to come way out here. So I'll show you how to fix that. First of all, we're going to remove this little tantalum capacitor off the board. We're going to use our heat, heat gun and tweezers to remove it. And you notice the CPU is over here. So I'm going to be pointing the hot air away from the CPU. We definitely don't want to get the CPU hot and it ruin the board. Alright, so we have that off. And now like I mentioned, you see how the pads to solder back on are too small. So if we put that there, we're not going to have anything to solder the ground pad to. So I'll show you how to fix that. This whole area right here is actually the same ground pad as this. So I'm just going to scrape away at the board some, to reveal some copper and we're going to put some new solder on it there just to extend that pad out. It may look a little ugly at first, but we'll make it look good. Alright, now we're going to put some solder on the pad. Place the solder on both pads with some leaded solder. And now we're going to put on the replacement capacitor. Turn the board so I can work on it again. Like that.
Okay. Gonna make the solder joints look better. Add some more flux. And there we go. We have the replacement capacitor in place. I'm going to straighten it up just a little bit. And there we go. Replacement capacitor is in place. So that's how you fix the problem with these 2010, early 2010 MacBook Pro boards. It's not the GPU at all. It actually is the capacitor. Uh, the frame buffer capacitor that goes to the GPU. It gives GPU signals or G GPU errors, but it's not the GPU. So replacing the GPU is not going to fix it. So if you have one of these problems and need it fixed, send it to us. We'll be happy to help out. Uh, we've replaced many of these capacitors on these boards and made many cust customers happy with the results. Um, so hope you learned something. Hope you have a great day.